Hi everyone, today we're sitting with Pulpo, one of our great partners, and I'm happy to introduce Konstantin. Hi Konstantin, how is it going? Hi Stefan, very nice to meet you, it's going great, thanks. Cool. Um, do you want to explain a little bit about uh, yourself and Pulpo? Yes, sure. Hi, I'm Konstantin, CBDO at Pulpo WMS and uh, responsible for sales and partnerships at Pulpo. Um, I always try to find and realize ways to create even more value to our customers and SendCloud is obviously a great example and um, happy to be here. Great, good to have you. Um, I'm Stefan, I'm leading the ecosystem at SendCloud and we work with a lot of great partners in the industry. We have a lot of partners that expand our product offering and we have a lot of growing clients and therefore I'm really happy to have you and Bulbo today with us. As a merchant, how would I set up my SendCloud account? Setting up a SendCloud account is very easy. So you go to SendCloud.com and open a free account. In this account you have to do a couple of things. So you first enter your addresses, the shipping address and the billing address, as well as your financial data. Once this is done, you can already activate your carriers. So best in this case, because we're working with a warehouse management system, to activate all your carriers that you will need later on. And then you go to the shipping rules in the SendCloud settings. There you can set up all the rules depending on the characteristics of your parcel or at the way of your parcel. So one example is, for example, if you ship to an international location, then you have the rules that make sure that the right shipping method is chosen. And then, Constantine, it's time to set up the Pulp integration. How do we do that? The Pulpo SendCloud integration is set up during the Pulpo onboarding process. So our onboarding team, the onboarding specialists, will take you as a merchant through the entire process and it's like follows. We log into our SendCloud account. There, in the integrations, you will find Pulpo WMS integration and you install the integration. Then you are taken to the integrations page and you first of all give the integration a name. Let's say SendCloud Pulpo. And in a second step, you enter your Pulpo credentials, your username and password, you save it, and the integration is there. In the next step, we go to the integrations configuration page. And there, based on the data you have entered before in SendCloud, um, you will need to choose the right address for your warehouse or your warehouses. Then you need to tick the box that all the box details are synced with SendCloud. And in the last step, you enter a default telephone number, just in case some carriers need a telephone number to create a label. You save everything and the integration is there. Logging into the web app of Pulpo WMS and going to the webhook logs, you will see that the integration was successful because you see that SendCloud has called the API. So when the integration is set up, how do I then create a label in Pulpo? All right, so, you know, in Pulpo we manage the warehousing process end-to-end, -end, from reception of goods through put-away, picking, packing, shipping. And um, in the packing process, so once the sales order has been commissioned, has been picked, and all the goods have been uh, brought to the packing position, um, the packer basically selects the packing task in his uh, Pulpo Android app, and he's being guided through the packing process, which means he selects the goods which have to go in a shipping box, he selects the shipping box itself in the app, which is pre-configured by the merchant, and then Pulpo knows exactly the size of the box and the weight of the entire parcel with all the items which have been put into the box. And these information, size and weight, are handed over to, to SendCloud via webhook. SendCloud then takes this information and based on the shipping rules which, ha which have been set up in SendCloud, um, SendCloud pulls the optimal label for this very box. This label is then provided to Pulpo and um, visible in the Pulpo web app which is uh, used in the process in the warehouse and will be auto automatically printed on a defined printer either on the packing station or on a mobile printer. And then the only manual step which um, the packing person has to do is to take the label and to glue it on the box. And then it's done. So it's a very seamless process and everything is automated. There are no errors involved in the process and um, SendCloud gets an even more accurate uh, information to, to pull the right label. 
Constantly, we see that if a buyer goes in a web shop, you often have a preferred shipping method that you use in the checkout. How is this information coming to Bobo and how can you use this? So, if a sales order contains specific information like a preferred carrier or priority shipping, for example, this information will be sent to SendCloud as well and you can create specific shipping rules which, which then work with this information and um, provide the label from the right carrier or with the right um, priority shipping label. So, um, Stefan, we, we mentioned uh, our partnership. Can you just recap a little bit how, how it's been evolving? Uh, it feels it goes uh, since a long time. Uh, I remember when we started to work uh, with Pulpo two years ago, um, we had a client, we looked at the client's needs and set up an integration. Since then, we are growing in the, in the joint customer base and I think it's really nice to see how our tech teams are working together and looking for our customer needs. Um, one example is, for exa um, is that we can ship the service points in Germany to, to a Basel shop. And this is something I think we are really good in, in, a, joint, yeah, in a joint way. Cool. Yeah, so SendCloud owns the, the integration, right? You, you've built it, um, you're investing in, into it. Uh, we are doing our best to, to bring our knowledge and, and our technology um, into this. And we're very, very proud and it, it works perfectly well to, to further develop and to, to increase the functionality of, of the integration. Correct. And we always love to have your feedback, right? We do not necessarily own the client in this scenario. So the client works in Pulpo, the client is a Pulpo client, and SendCloud basically runs in the back. So in a normal daily routine, there's no need to go to SendCloud. Yes, exactly. In, in the warehouse, the only tool, the only front end which is being used is the Pulpo front end. And this covers the entire end-to-end -end process, which makes it very easy and intuitive for, for the warehouse staff to, to deliver and um, SendCloud is perfectly integrated in the back end and provides the, the fitting labels uh, in, in very fast speed. So it's, it's, it's a great um, yeah, collaboration. So uh, what, what if, uh, if a customer um, adds a new carrier? Good question. So that's a reason to go to SendCloud again. So you log into the SendCloud account and you basically activate a new carrier, add a new contract, and once this is activated, it's basically done. So then you adjust your shipping rules and you go back to Bulbo and work as usual. Very good. That sounds intuitive, fast and easy. What if you set up a new warehouse? You can set up a new warehouse in Pulpo using the warehouse wizard, which is a a very nice tool to create kind of the digital twin of the warehouse yeah. and um, you can not only create a warehouse you can also add warehouses or you can even um, like change the warehouse layout yeah if, if you change your physical layout it, it's a very fast and easy process to change it in the system as well and it's up and running again great and on the SendCloud side you just need to make sure that this warehouse has a sender address in SendCloud and that in the configuration of the integration you have it mapped to the correct address. In SendCloud, you can, for example, configure multiple brands or multiple sender addresses. So if I look now towards a fulfillment center who maybe has m several companies into in one warehouse, how does it work on the Pulpo side? Okay, so if, if, I am, if I am a fulfiller and I have multiple clients, we call them merchants in Pulpo, um, every client has their own client or merchant ID. In SendCloud, it's called Brands, um, because you, you can also uh, upload uh, cr uh, creatives for, for each brand. So we can sync the merchant IDs and the brands in SendCloud. And whenever a specific shipping label is requested for a specific merchant in the warehouse, um, a specific branded label can be created in SendCloud. Cool. So we can work with fulfillers, we can work with multiple brands, and we can work internationally, right? Exactly. So we have a lot of options how we can serve our clients. Yes.